Look at that, it's got the puppeteering effects. It's so cool. We've got dinosaurs, we've got so many dinosaurs. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. I apologize in advance for not having glasses on anymore. I did LASIK eye surgery. That's the reason why I don't have glasses in any of my videos anymore moving forward. Guys, today we're going to be covering the Jurassic World Dominion Rajasaurus and the Yangchuanosaurus. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I have been learning a lot of the pronunciations of these Chinese dinosaurs recently and these Asian dinosaurs and they're a little bit harder to pronounce than the American ones by uh, an American standard. But today we've got two Asian dinosaurs, one from China, one from India. It's so exciting. This Rajasaurus in recent years has become one of my, if not my favorite dinosaur. It's definitely, it's definitely my favorite carnivore, definitely my favorite predatory dinosaur. And I'm so happy we have a figure of this. I've actually been 3D modeling with some amazing designers in India, a skull of the Rajasaurus that I'm going to be 3D printing soon and I love I, I can't wait to make an episode about this dinosaur for you guys if you're new here on the dinosaur channel we cover all things dinosaur and prehistoric as well you can become a member on this channel join and unlock cool icons and emojis you can use when interacting with our channel and with that being said we're going to jump right into this Rajasaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion so let's dive into it so Rajasaurus is this really cool dinosaur from India it was found near New Delhi if I'm correct by a team of Indian and American paleontologists and it's a dinosaur that doesn't have too much, uh, you know, st actually, I'm going to destroy the box of this one. I don't care. I'm not opening this one nicely at all. This is not one that I'm going to have in the box. I don't foresee this specific figure holding much value or being a rare sought out figure. I could be wrong. Don't like hold me to it, but I just don't see, I don't know why I've been seeing them on the shelves a lot. They haven't been selling out the way that the Yang Chowanosaurus has been and some of the other Dominion figures that I've seen. Just gonna cut these bands, drop the tail already, that's great. Okay. And we just gotta get those wonderful Mattel foot holders. Got it. Alright. Rajasaurus. So exciting. Oh, I did not even realize till right now that this is a massive action sound strike. Is it sound strike? Roar Strikers. That's the new name of this Mattel series. Okay, here, let's do it. Roar Strikers. How do you roar? What's your what's your action feature? How do you do it? Is it a tail thing? Is it a figured it out so it's just you just move the head there's no button or anything that's cool this does look like one of those figures that's going to struggle standing in the long run but oh my god she's so beautiful <laughs> so rajasaurus the name rajasaurus i'm we're going to talk about this and when we do a deep dive on this dinosaur but it means like king or princely lizard and it comes from that name in in indian and hindi i think raja or raj uh and it's because of this cool crest that it has this little bony plate it has on the top of its head this cool spike sort of like a ceratosaurus but on the top of its head and looks like it's wearing a crown and I freaking love this dinosaur that's cool roar oh. it's got, so it's got a few roars here I love it. That's so exciting. You know, I'm always so fascinated with Jurassic World and their merchandise and their dinosaurs, especially when they add sounds into these dinosaurs. Like, where are they getting these sounds from? Who's developing them? And what are they going to be used for in the future is always my wonder because we don't have the Rajasaurus in the series yet, not in the cinematic series at all. And it's not in Jurassic World Evolution yet. I hope it does come one day, but it's featured in like... Okay, buddy, chill. It's featured in some of the games, like in Jurassic World Alive, and I think in Jurassic World The Game, on the mobile games. Just fantastic, fantastic articulation. You know, it's very standard Mattel. We can sort of stand it up like this. We can stand it up like this. We can stand it up like that. Not that you would ever want to. It's got fantastic amount of detail in the face. Just absolutely beautiful. Like, the paint job is fantastic. The mouth stays gaped, which I really like. It stays open. The arms are a little strange, but you know, it is what it is. And just the color scheme on the bottom, that sort of cream brown coming in the middle. And then we've got the darker brown and the sort of almost bluish on top, like this navy blue. It's got to be one of my favorite figures so far. And it's got this beautiful head bone. And then these two crests sort of running down the, the head like a Dilophosaurus, um, but obviously in a larger scale. And then it's got these beautiful osteoderms or scoots coming down the whole length of the body, all the way down to the tip of the tail, pretty much. It's like they're all the way through and the, the the feeling of them they're really really nice they feel really cool in the hand of course and also with all these new jurassic world Do dominion figures we have the dna tag that pops up like that from the back so you have it here you can scan it i don't know if you're gonna be able to scan it from this video if you want it here you go 
scans into the app and you can play with it. I like that feature a little bit less. I liked it when it was, I think it was, used to be on the bottom of the foot. I used to like that a lot more, a little less invasive, but oh my God, this figure is awesome. I freaking love the Rajasaurus. Such a cool dinosaur, such an underrated dinosaur. And it's so cool to learn about paleontology from India. It's like anytime they, they make figures about dinosaurs that are like European or not North American because so much of our merchandise is North American. Anyways, next up, we've got the Yang Chuanosaurus. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yang Chuanosaurus, another beautiful Mattel figure. This has got to be, out of all of the new figures that came out, the most beautiful, the most amazing out of all of them. I have to be honest, I didn't know much about this dinosaur before uh, doing some research for it for a upcoming episode on our channel. This is another one of those boxes that I'm not going to care too much about. You know, these figures of Mattel, I like to keep the ones that I think are going to hold value, potentially to either resell in the future or just to have a few of them. I like to keep the boxes intact, but these are one of those that I just, I don't foresee it really holding its value because there's so many of them available right now. But oh my God, look at this dinosaur. I hope this thing comes to the movie because there's been so many toys of it. I hope that it's in the movie. Look at that. It's got the puppeteering effects. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that speed. Oh, let's see how fast we can go. I'm going to break it immediately. And I'm going to have to buy another one. It's, it's all right. Ready? Yeah, baby, ain't you want a Saurus? I love it. All right, so here we go. Here's the figure. Its body is sloping down in a bit of a weird way, but you can. So this is one of those like puppeteering ones that you can sort of bring up and down. Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that, sexy. Look at that range of motion right there. We got no sounds on this one, which is a little bit of a shame. I feel like it could definitely could use some of those sounds, but ah, oh, so beautiful. What a beautiful figure. Look at that. So we've got amazing articulation all across that body. Those puppeteering features are something that you just can't outbeat for kids, like for a kid's toy. Man, if I had something like this as a kid, I'd go crazy over it. This is so cool. It's got that swaying action. You control everything from the tail. So you've got the tail to control it like that. And then you can go up, you can go down. You can't go any further down, can you? Oh yeah, you can. So you can even pick figures up, bring them up. This would be a great figure for the human figures. Fantastic. Got that good arm articulation. Let's talk a little bit about detail. So we've got a beautiful head crest right here, literally looking like a enlarged Dilophosaurus. Beautiful red, beautiful green color. This is the type of green that if they're going to add green onto a dinosaur, this is the type of green I want to see. I don't want to see none of that puke green that's on the Therizinosaurus or the Giganotosaurus. Like, don't get me wrong. I love those figures. They're beautiful, but this is what I'm talking about. This is the color scheme. Red, a little bit of like mocha brown and this sort of nice olive green almost. And then that beautiful green cream on the bottom, that tan. Ah, he is a little chunky. He's got a little bit of chunk, but he, you know, he looks a little fat. Like what, like what a lot of people assume dinosaurs might've actually looked like. So I got to say from a realism standpoint, this is cool. And I just love the way the head looks when it's closed. Look at that. He looks evil. He almost kind of looks Allosaurus. Like he's a little bit of an Allosaurus, but you know, from China and, and nowhere near the Allosaurus, but beautiful, beautiful dinosaur toy. Just fantastic. Yang Chuanosaurus. And then we've got the DNA tag. I'm assuming it's going to pop up here. I always do it on the wrong side. It's unbelievable. I'm, I'm literally terrible at pulling it out. Uh, there we go. We've got the DNA tag if you guys want it. Yang Chuanosaurus, Rajasaurus, two incredible Asian dinosaurs showing some Asian representation in the dinosaur world for these Mattel toys. I love it. I'm so hyped about these dinosaurs. I'm hoping to God that we get them in some sort of context in Jurassic Media coming up soon, whether it's a movie or the video games or something. These guys are just awesome. Rajasaurus, uh... I'm not joking. The more I look at this figure, it's got to be one of my favorite carnivores that have ever existed. It's just so cool. Something amazing about this dinosaur. I can only imagine what it looked like back in the day. And then Yang Chuanosaurus, killing it. Just killing it. I think I broke it already. Did I? No, I didn't. You just need to have it on a table for it to really react the right way. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the two dinosaurs. We love you very much. Thank you for watching our videos and supporting this channel. If you guys love the Dinosaur channel, make sure you comment down below a dinosaur prehistoric creature you'd like to see us cover in the future or any of these Jurassic World Mattel toys you would like to see us cover in the future. As well, you can become a member on this channel. Join and unlock cool icons and emojis you can use when interacting with our channel. And, of course, subscribe and give us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up. Turn on those notifications, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.